Arizona was a 1940 black and white western. It starred Gene Arthur and William Holden. Had a chance to watch this the other day and really enjoyed it. It's just a fun western drama, a little bit of action and adventure, nothing too serious. It's set in Arizona, but it's not like a documentary or anything about the history of Arizona necessarily. It reminded me a lot of that film Texas that I watched with William Holden. I'm assuming it's probably by the same producer where it was set in Texas but didn't really have much to do with Texas at all. Well this was just Arizona sort of in the old west and as it's just getting settled and everything. Uh, Jean Arthur is the star and she plays this strong independent um, pie baker at first and she is this tough and rugged character she's able to stand up to these other uh, goofy cowboys that bug her and she eventually changes her career path from uh, cooking pies for cowboys to getting into this uh, starting a freight company which I guess is a big thing back in the old west you know so she gets the business started and she also befriends uh, William Holden he shows up and it's interesting because he shows up at the beginning of the film and then he just vanishes for a while. He goes off to California. So you're like, okay, I guess his character is not going to be in the film too much. But he does show up a little bit later. So in the film, she's trying to start her, you know, her business. And they've got this really nasty bad guy uh, played by William w Warren William, I think was his name. And he was just nasty. He was just kind of very uh, underhanded. Uh, he hires some guys to steal her money and then later like makes a shady loan so that he can try to rip her off later. So he was just an all around rotten character, but uh, he's sort of the nemesis of the film. So we get to see, you know, does Gene Arthur and uh, William Holden, do they get to build this business together or is this, uh, you know, nasty Warren William guy going to ruin their plans? So that's kind of the plot. And there was a cattle drive as well as sort of one of the big events of this film, much like the Texas movie I reviewed before, which the centerpiece of that was a cattle drive. It's a very uh, dusty, just kind of hot and sweaty Texas style movie, but set in Arizona. And I, I thought it was interesting too, they also had Edgar Buchanan. He was the actor who was also in the Texas movie. He played the dentist who was sort of the big criminal guy. Uh, he's in this film, but he's just kind of a corrupt judge So that was him and you know the film is cute. It's got a nice love story to it I thought it was kind of funny the William Holden at one point he uh, plays a guitar to serenade Gene Arthur's character and he plays the song uh, I dream of Jeannie. It's the I dream of Jeannie with light brown hair which I have never heard anywhere else other than the Looney Tune cartoon where the guys rub in the lamp. I may put the clip into this video, but YouTube is so obnoxious with, you know, copyright and stuff that even if you have a very brief video clip, they may take it down. So I don't know. Let me think about it. But that was where I had heard the song before, and then I hear it in this movie, and I thought, oh, hey, hey that's funny. And that particular motif, the I Dream of Genie Melody, sort of, you'll hear you know, in an orchestral form through the movie as you kind of the theme of the heroes, basically. So Jean Arthur was a great actress. I had not really seen her in anything before. I think she was in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. And she does a really good job just playing a strong, convincing um, lead to this film. So it came out in 1940. I think you can find it online. And just a note that there are some probably unfair stereotypes of Native American people uh, so be aware of that and there's also a sequence where they have a bunch of the Cowboys do a cheer for the Confederate flag so I know that's not very popular these days that was in as well I think they were just aiming for that time in history when I guess Arizona was part of the Confederacy and that takes place in this film too and that's the review of Arizona from 1940